Welcome back. Let's fly Kerbal Space Program. In the meantime, in the downtime since the last episode, um, I, I, I uploaded that one just just like a couple hours after I recorded it. Uh, so I've already seen some of the comments and everything. Uh, I did some troubleshooting. I took uh, took a whole bunch of mods out and I, I added, got a fresh, clean install of the game. I added all the mods in, just one mod at a time. And I came to the conclusion that... Uh, the, the, whoops, oh, hang on, that's a different project. That's not part of the series. Different project. Yeah, I came to the conclusion that, uh, these, the, the big solid rocket boosters that come with the Kylan Winston Challenger pack, these guys are not compatible with the stock landing gear like we have on this airplane, which I forgot I'd already loaded in here. No hands. I don't know, maybe, hey, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll just show this one off just really quick, <laughs> just because I want to. I, I was, this was a, this was a, another, a totally separate project. Marquis Kerman, Mitch Kergerland, Dragon Kerman are just going to, just, just for silliness' sake, here, here's a vehicle I put together using all stock parts, no mods, as much as I like mods. The reason it's called no hands, just take take a look down here, the lower left at the at the controls indicator, what I'm doing. Just throttle up and stage. And now I'll just move the camera. Just keep keep an eye on the controls down there, not touching anything. It rolls along the runway, tail lifts, picks up some more airspeed. Pretty soon it will come on. Pretty soon. There we go. And it takes off just before the end of the runway with no hands you don't have to control it pilot it or anything <laughs> i was just just experimenting around just to see using stock parts what is the most stable aircraft i could possibly make yeah it'll and it'll keep going it'll it'll climb up to altitude it'll climb up to the maximum alt altitude that these these engines will work and it'll start to run out of juice and then it'll descend and it'll, it'll start to climb again and then it'll run out of fuel Anyway, no hands. Flies just fine. Stable. Didn't even have to mess with the trim. Okay, but anyway, in flight with that thing. In flight. Marquise, Mitch, and Dragon, he's all mellow. Mar 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 Marquise? Marquise? Marquise and Mitch were freaked out about it. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that silliness. Well, let's get in here. Grunt empty. Let's select grunt empty. All right, here is the design that did not work. I'm thinking that there's just a simple change that I can do because as a result of the troubleshooting, get rid of a stock landing gear. Let's get rid of that. Oh, there's a little strut which I was trying various things. Let's get rid of that. And instead, I'm going to use these, uh, the landing gear that, that came with the, the C7 Experimental Pack. Okay, those guys right there. And, oh, hang on, let me get rid of that little piece of strut too. Get rid of that. Hmm, let's, not, let's do it this way. Right about there. That's looking... Now that's looking very, very, like it might not have much, very low, not much clearance for that tail, huh? Okay, okay, so here's Grunt Empty, We're, we've got the, the old landing gear. I like this, it starts retracted anyway. Let's save that, let's launch it, and see what happens. Okay, Ooh, wow, that nose is just... Bam, sitting right on the ground there, isn't it? But notice, my crew is still here. The struts did not break. Uh, well, it looks like that, that thing may have snapped off the RCS tank. Oh, look at that wobble. I don't have any. But it's on its landing. You know what? Before I fly this thing, here, let's end this flight again. Before I fly this thing, I'm going to get in there and I'm going to strut that big RCS tank down. I hate seeing things wobble like that. Uh, let me see, we don't need the strong struts, because this one, because it's not, not really putting a load on it. It's just... Give it some stability. Okay, still it did seem pretty low, didn't it? 
Okay, that is strutted. Save it. Launch it. Still are seeing three. Mark, Mark, Marcus, Marquis. I'm really not not certain how to how to pronounce that. I apologize if I mispronounce your names. Pronunciations. Just in the in the course of, of this hobby of this doing the whole let's plays thing, I I'm just going to mispronounce everything. I I I do not mispronounce out of malice. I mispronounce out of ignorance, and I beg your pardon, Marcus, Marquis, Marquis. Mitch! I know how to say Mitch. I know how to say Dragon. Anyway, okay, okay. Let's turn the precision control on. Just two engines, one or two engines. I don't want us to start off stacking engines all over this thing because I really I do want to cut down on weight. But let's fly a control check. This is all good. Let's go. Kind of sluggish acceleration to begin with. Let's get on that. Let's not be doing the slide to the side there. Okay, let's I pull back some. It is not... Uh oh hang on. I was not paying attention where it's going. Whoa! Stop, 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 stop! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, there's pieces, days. Keep going for a while. Oh, oh man. Dragon! <laughs> you hear the stuff splashing over there? Dragon, you had a kind of a cool name. I'm kind of sorry to see you go. Um, whoops. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was just my own fault. Just, I was trying, I was looking, paying too much attention to wanting this thing to rotate. And it wasn't rotating, and I, I just got too excited about that. Hmm. Do I, do I want to go ahead and do something different with the engines? Do I want to do something? I'll tell you one thing I'm going to do different right now. Let's get rid of those guys. We're going to give it some bigger, more lifting canards up front. And we'll stick to just one change at a time for now. Let's save that. Let's launch it. Fredulous, Neomerks, Razor! D didn't you guys, weren't you in the in the original Mum Mapper? I think you were. I could be wrong. Or, or you were either in the Mum Mapper or or in the in the in the Munlander. I can't remember. Anyway, let's pop that landing gear out. And really, see the, the thing rotates, and that tail's gonna come down closer. But I don't want to move the landing gear back too far because then it will not be able to rotate. Um, yeah, I'm not happy with the landing gear setup yet. Precision control. Start the engines. Let's go. Let's pay closer attention to driving it down the runway this time. Okay. Okay. And let me see. I want to wait. Let me get my surface speed up there. See about 100 meters per second. I'll start pitching back. Pitching back. The nose is not coming up. Here's the end of the runway. I'm still pitching back. The nose is still not coming. Okay, stop. Brakes, 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 brakes. Turn, turn, turn. I forgot that these, these gear don't have the really fantastic. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was evil. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> a little chunk of landing gear. Um, gah, we're going through kerbals in a hurry. Okay, okay, we need more lift. We need more thrust. We need more lift. Uh, let's get back into here. <laughs> uh, the, the game. This is this is what is known as gallows humor. Uh, these are aviation tragedies. In real life, these are not funny, but. Uh, <laughs> you can just just you can just be kind of dark and evil about it. Okay, 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 okay. Let's think on changes I want to make. I don't have enough pitch authority. 
One way to increase the pitch authority would be to put a longer tail back here, put my elevators back here, but then it would not be able to stand up on the boosters. Another way is to extend these canards farther out in front, uh, but I run into other strange design problems if I do that. It also needs more thrust. And I suspect it needs more lift. Tell you what, we'll leave the wings as they are. We'll add, I've got an idea. Give it more pitch authority and more thrust at the same time. I've got an idea. Um, too far back? Uh, no, a little bit too far forward. I keep on accidentally just picking it up and putting it right back exactly the same spot. See, another way I'm thinking about this, another way to... I, I need to put the elevators, give the elevators more distance from the center of gravity. Uh, if I can't put a long tail on here, maybe I can put a tall tail on here. See, right about there. Big, tall T-tail. Kind of. You know, it's not, not going to be winning any beauty prizes. It's kind of ugly. But... Yeah, we've got some distance between the elevators and the center of gravity. I'm also going to take my jet engines and I'm going to relocate those. I'm going to put those down here. I want to do something different with the, with the landing gear down here. And down a little bit further. How about right there? Ooh, I kind of like that. This, this is one reason why, uh, earlier, I'm here, I'll repeat it again. Attention, Kerbal Space Program modders. What we really need is a variety of sizes of landing gear. Uh, the existing landing gear, both in the stock game and this this other one that, that uh, C7 made before, yeah, before it was stock parts, they're they're good. They they open up, they retract, they extend. They're short. Sometimes you need longer landing gear for you know, a taller airplane in order to give it more and give my give me room to rotate here without dragging the tail. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're kind of kind of. Attaching even more warts and lumps. You know what? I just look at this. I don't have an air intake for this, my third engine, for my central engine, engine number two there. I got an idea. I went through, I repeated my trick here where I took the, the nose cone thing and I, I made it into an SAS. I repeated that trick with these engine bodies in anticipation of a moment just such as this. Because really, I think, I think, you know, just hiding the SAS somewhere makes sense because, really, the SAS should just be part of the the, the capsule, part of the cockpit. You know, it's it it really seems silly to me to have those be separate pieces. So I'll, I'll hide them. I'll conceal them other elsewhere. That's just my own opinion. It's starting to look less streamlined. It's starting to look uglier. But is it more functional? That's the question. Okay. Grunt empty. Let's fly it. So we got oh we got some we got some true aviators in the crew now. Man, look how low, low that nose goes. Okay. Boom. And whoops, I popped the landing gear out too fast. <laughs> Broke the engine off. Yeah, Orville, Manfred von Kerbel, Haro Hermane. Uh let's try that again. <laughs> Just snap that thing right off. Ah! 